just try walking around for a minute or two with bent knees, you're going to start really feeling the burn in the muscles in your legs, especially your thighs. So the same thing happens to our dogs. Their muscles become fatigued and overworked, and sometimes dogs with long nails that have long nails for an extended period of time are fatigued to stand up before they even stand up. So keeping the nails trimmed is for so much more than cosmetic reasons. It can decrease your dog's risk for spinal injury. It can decrease your dog's risk for an ACL tear. It won't allow your dog's muscles in their hindquarters to become overworked and they will have a nice normal posture and gait barring that there's nothing else going on in their health with trimmed nails. The fourth way to prevent spinal injury is to practice smart play time. So if your dog loves to play fetch, the dog's number one goal is to catch the ball or the frisbee. So they will put their body into whatever position they need to in order to do that. So I recommend doing four to five throws and then taking a break. Otherwise, if your dog is constantly running back and forth for that ball or frisbee and they love going after that ball and frisbee, they are not going to stop when they are tired. They are going to keep going because their number one priority is to get that ball or frisbee. So they begin to overwork their muscles and combine that with contorted landing positions and positions in the air and your dog is at a great risk for injury. To avoid injury during fetch, also be mindful of the surfaces that your dog is playing on. I only recommend playing fetch on a surface with traction such as grass or carpet. I highly advise against playing fetch on tile, laminate, or hardwood floors or any other type of slick floor. When a dog plays on a slick surface, they slide easily and they also slide through their push off to chase the ball. I have seen many injured dogs from playing fetch on these surfaces. Also, if your dog is going to play fetch, be sure that they are in good health in order to do this activity. Be sure that they are physically sound without any problems. Dogs with certain conditions should find an alternate activity to play. There's many different things that you could do besides fetch. If your dog has a history of a disc injury, especially if it was in the neck, they should not play fetch at all. Or if they've had a front or rear limb injury, check with their veterinarian or whatever practitioner is taking care of this injury to be sure that it's okay that they play fetch. 